Hello, it's Rafael Gutierrez today, and uh, I'm actually going to talk about a uh, neck fracture. Part of the reason is I was asked by the International Society of Head and Neck Trauma, which is an organization where a lot of people are medical doctors, uh, a lot of medical professionals from all over the world uh, who are studying head injuries, and they actually had sent me an email asking if they could use some of my videos for um, educational purposes, which I have no problem with. I Anyone wants to use my videos, share them. You can, uh, just don't make any money off of them uh, unless you send me something because I um, figure if, I, if someone's making money, it should be me, right? Uh, the uh, big thing about this is a lot of times in martial arts, we'll talk about how people don't take us serious. And in part, part of the reason people don't take us serious is because a lot of people, instead of actually looking for data and how things happen, they end up pretty much talking about, well, someone told me this once upon a time, so it has to be true. Now, you have to remember that when we're dealing with uh, injuries, when we're dealing with uh, medical profession, we can't deal with the things as if just believe them. We actually need evidence and we need numbers to be able to determine what's going on. And that's one of the very important things that people forget. A lot of times people get stuck on the, well, my teacher was a 10th degree black belt or whatever, and so he is right and you're wrong. Well, that doesn't work when you're dealing with science. You need, it, the title isn't as important as... Uh, the numbers and what people see. Now today I'm going to actually, uh, for the International so Society of Head and Neck Trauma, I am going to be talking about a specific neck fracture called the Jefferson's uh, fracture, which is a fracture of the uh, first cervical vertebrae, which is at the base of the skull. This is actually a dangerous fracture and it can occur in martial arts. Uh, usually though it occurs from either diving or uh, actually in uh, American football, a guy spearing with the top of his head getting a compression fracture. And so with this, you're gonna see some of the images, some of the uh, models that I use to teach anatomy and uh, hopefully you'll understand how these neck fractures happen. This also lets you know one other thing. These fractures can become really relatively unstable. So anytime you suspect someone has trauma to the neck, you really don't wanna play around with this and you wanna get this person to a medical professional as soon as possible. Uh, maybe not even move them, maybe even, a, not, sometimes not even movement I should say. Uh, and call uh, emergency tech so they can put on the neck brace and uh, get them the proper medical uh, treatment that they need before they actually do any permanent damage to themselves. Uh, next week I'm hoping to do what are called teardrop fractures which are extension or flexion of the neck and uh, finishing the head and neck trauma aspect of that. Any questions please write them on comments. If you, Like I said if you do plan to share this help your share it with anyone you want, but please give me credit. Just let them know. It's like this is from Rafael H. Gutierrez, uh, R.H. Gutierrez, M.D. Uh, and now that way people know where they where the information is coming from. Uh, hopefully this uh, helps you guys understand what you're doing, why you're doing it, and I'll see you in a little bit. Goodbye. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to talk about today is what's called a Jefferson's fracture. Now the way people get Jefferson's fracture is it's usually seen in football injuries as someone comes crashing in head first into someone and it causes a, a uh, compression fraction of the first cervical vertebrae called uh, C1, which is the atlas. Now when it breaks, I'll show it here, you have these two arches here. This one is uh, the anterior arch here, this is a posterior. Get closer to see. So you have the anterior arch here, the posterior here. And so these arches are gonna break because of the force acting down upon this. Now, when that happens, one of the things that you'll notice is here that the atlas is actually where a lot of the spinal cord comes through in this big bulge here. If that does break, one of the problems that can happen is it can actually end up causing neurological problems and even death if it's not uh, recognized in time. Now, like I said, most of this is caused by spearing in football, American football, someone rushing in, hitting head first. But it can also be seen in martial arts if someone were to be, say, in judo, someone thrown and dropped straight on their head. The force of the entire body coming down on the atlas can actually break it, causing that Jefferson's fracture. Uh, the reason this is important to know is there are a lot of martial arts that do use throws. And if someone actually has any neck injury, it's better to get evaluated as soon as possible rather than be walking around with a fracture that can end up becoming life-threatening. Thank you. Thank you.